A New South Wales man, 55, has today been charged with a foreign interference offence by the AFP as part of a counter foreign interference task force investigation initiated by ASIO. The Australian national who normally lives overseas is scheduled to appear in court on one count of reckless foreign interference, contrary to section 92.3 of the Criminal Code Act 1995. The maximum penalty is 15 years imprisonment. The Australian man who operates a business overseas recently returned to Australia. He was arrested at a property in Sydney today. The AFP will allege an individual purporting to be from a think tank contacted the Australian man via social media while he was offshore and made arrangements for him to meet with their representatives. It is alleged that on a number of occasions the man met with two individuals known to him as Ken and Evelyn who offered the man money to obtain information about Australian defence, economic and national security arrangements plus matters relating to other countries. It is alleged the Australian man compiled a number of reports for the individuals and received payment for those reports. The AFP will allege that Ken and Evelyn work for a foreign intelligence service and are undertaking intelligence collection activities. The AFP believes other Australian citizens and residents may have been approached by Ken and Evelyn and is urging those individuals to provide information to the National Security Hotline on 1800 123 400. Espionage and foreign interference pose a serious threat to Australia's sovereignty, security and integrity of our national institutions. The Counter Foreign Interference Task Force, which includes ASIO and the AFP, is working to disrupt the threat and mitigate the harm from foreign interference and espionage. The man is the second individu individual charged by the task force since the Commonwealth Parliament passed the National Security Legislation Amendment, Espionage and Foreign Interference Bill in 2018. Recently, the AFP released a fact sheet to a number of diaspora communities urging them to call the National Security Hotline if they believed they had been subject of or witnessed foreign interference. The AFP and our partners thank those individuals who have placed their trust in law enforcement and provided valuable information to the National Security Hotline. We know making those calls can be daunting, but I assure you that we never take for granted the support we receive from the public. Finally, I want to underscore that the AFP targets criminality, not countries, nor ethnicity. With our partners, the AFP is ensuring that we protect Australians, Australia's sovereignty and our way of life.